for that. Today's arrest stems from DNA that matched eight murders. In 1978, Katie and Brian Maggiore were shot to death while walking their dog. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Department says the killer had chased them into a backyard. Further south, two years later, Lyman and Charlene Smith were killed inside their Ventura home. The killer snuck in through a side door, sexually assaulted Charlene, and then bludgeoned the couple to death with a log. The news comes as shock and relief for dozens of victims throughout the area. Many of them still live in the same area where the rapist struck decades ago. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw continues our team coverage tonight live from the newsroom. Jen? Tony and Adrian, victims say these violent attacks were planned. The East Area Rapist initially targeted women who were alone, stalking them for days, then breaking into their homes. In just two years, he's linked to 38 attacks from Sacramento to Stockton. He looked like a monster. <laughs> For more than 40 years, Rose Thomas has waited to see the man behind the mask. It just horror, you know. Rose was one of the first victims believed to have been attacked by the East Area Rapist. It was 1976. She was home alone with her teenage daughters. And it's the first time she's shared her story publicly. I went to call the police. And while I was calling the police, he jumped through the window, mostly naked. It had a thing over his face. Her older daughter wasn't home at the time, but says that monster plagued their family for years. The fact that they didn't find him and didn't find him and didn't find him, and that the crimes kept happening, that was pretty horrific. As horrific as it was, the three escaped, but not without a fight. I wasn't afraid to die. For my children, I would die. Others weren't able to get away. Within just a few blocks, the East Area Rapist is blamed for several rapes from 1976. Investigators believe it continued for two years until finally he killed. Brian and Katie Maggiore were just 20 and 21 years old. You're young and living your life. You know, they'd been married just for over a year. The couple was walking their dog when investigators believe Joseph D'Angelo gunned them down. I miss them both so much. Susan Connell was a dear friend and says the two had such a bright future. Brian was in the Air Force and they were planning a family. Their parents won't go to their grave not knowing. I'm really grateful. But the why he did it will forever haunt them. A real mystery how anybody could be like that. Many of his victims have lived with that torment. And he could still be out there stalking them, but tonight many say they feel it's finally over. Powerful, powerful statements from some brave people. Jen, thank you.